All right, today we're going to be doing another GSAP tutorial and this time this video will have two parts because I tried to make it work as it should, but I only managed to do half of the effect. So I was like, you know what, at least get that out for everyone because it might be interesting and still useful. And I think it is, but it doesn't have that super wow effect. And then later on, in the next one, two months, maybe, depending how long it takes me to find an answer how to do this in Elementor, I will have the second part of this video come up. So let's get into it. You know the drill. We are going to be starting with a parent container. Okay, so I'm going to drop in one container here, make sure that it's full width. Yeah. And I am going to set the height to 100 VH as we usually do. And this can be a section anywhere. This is going to work on load, on scroll, on whatever. This is a looping effect. That means that will continuously loop until you scroll over and you don't see it anymore, obviously. All right, so I'm uh, going to publish this and let's move on. So I'm gonna give this a class as well, clonable, yeah. And I am gonna publish now. And let's add another container in here. Basically, you can copy the effect of the parent container. Yeah, uh, the, the style, not effect. And we are going to add a different class here. And that class is looping words. OK, so I will continue adding containers. Uh, I think I have, we have another two containers that we need to add. This is the structure. Otherwise, it's not going to work. Maybe uh, if you try and streamline this more uh, and you find a better structure, let us know in the comments below. But this is what I have found to be working for me right now. So let's duplicate this. And actually, we have to move it inside. And this will have a different class as well. And this is the class. All right. Let me just publish and we are going to be adding another container in here. Yeah, so I'm going to duplicate this and this will have the class of list. Oops, list. Yeah, and we are going to be adding our text in here, the text, the, the headings that are going to be looping. All right, so I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to switch this to a P. It doesn't really matter, but you need to make sure that this is nowhere in the code. Uh, if it's an H1 or no, that should not be an H1. If it's an H2, for example, you can replace it in the code, but you have to remember that as you work, right? So I'm going to say this is GSAP, all right? And yeah, you could add a class if you want to style it. I will just leave this class here. It's up to you if you want to use this class or make your own classes. All right, so what we're going to do now is style this up a little bit because we're going to be copying the style to uh, the other headings. Yeah, so we don't waste any time. 800. That's about it. Uh, let's jump move it in the center and I will duplicate this. Yeah, duplicate and just say uh, made looping. I don't know. Looping. Looping. Duplicate. Let's say made. Ah, I forgot to change the colors. Meh. Anyway, let's just change this with. Oh, sorry, not here. Here. Um, I have some class uh, colors here. Global colors. I'm gonna paste the style for each again. All right, we didn't lose anything. Let's duplicate the last one and say, uh, whoa. <laughs> And let's add another one. This is cool. All right, let's publish. And yeah, this is what we have so far. I know it's not very exciting, but we're going to add more. Oh, and the class actually is not list. Let me just um, go look for my class. It is actually a looping words list. Yeah. The container that is holding all our headings and what i will do because i forgot to do that i will move this right inside this uh looping words containers parent container yeah uh so we have 
this is the structure all right this is how your structure should be let me just publish this let's move on now in the container that is holding our headings we have to add an attribute so go to attributes yeah in the container let me just open this so you can see the structure as well and go to custom attributes yeah and drop this in there so data looping words pipe sign and two quotes and in the quotes you will have nothing i'll publish this and we're gonna move on so if you want to know why there there's nothing in between the quotes is because the value is assigned dynamically through the javascript code all right okay so i'm showing you the, <laughs> the demo but let me just go to the actual demo that we're working right now okay so as i said this is going to be dynamically assigned through the javascript all right so let's just move on let's go on to add an html container here and widget where we are going to be adding our code all right so i'm gonna drop in the code uh but we will have to go a little bit over it to see how you can change some things we're gonna add css which will make everything a little bit more compressed and a little bit different and let me just drop it in here all right so probably i've said this before in other videos and but i'm i'm getting this question on some other videos and i'm sure that people don't watch all my videos with gsap or about gsap uh, but the way you install gsap is through this script and it's uh basically fed through a cdn all right so i cannot remember all these details but if you ask of course our trusty ChatGPT, why is this fed through a cdn you will see that you get all these answers uh, or reasons and uh, they make absolute sense all right so i did not know about this part uh, which is pretty cool yeah i will probably write an article or just drop something like this so you can read it or you just do yourself a ChatGPT search but it does make sense and that's why gsap is such a, a powerful library that everyone is jumping on to use because it's so reliable and etc etc anyway many many reasons but yeah this is how you install gsap there's nothing else that you need to do and if you need to uh, to uh have an effect that has a scroll trigger you will add the scroll trigger source cdn code here um link whatever link yes and that will pull the data from the library and it's pretty much magic you would think but it's absolutely normal in this day and age okay all right so as you can see we have here a const uh, constant that it is uh query selecting the data looping words list that we have added previously if you remember as an attribute okay so if you are deciding or you're going to be deciding to change that name to something else you make sure that you change it here otherwise it's not going to work all right and then we have another constant const constant but this will not take effect because we are not going to be doing this part of the video right now okay i will still leave it here or maybe i will delete it just to make sure that you're not getting confused and update it when the second part of the effect works as i said at the beginning of the video anyway so what you can change here is this it's basically the is yeah you will see what i'm talking about the duration as well and pretty much that's it i will not say i will not change anything here i'll leave it like this but if you decide to do that you can take this whole code and put it in chat gpt and ask it to do it for you to um, change it as you might want or explain parts of it that you might not understand i'm not gonna go through all this because i could obviously but it's going to take forever i'm gonna bore you to death all you want or most of you want is the code and that's it so i'm gonna focus on that all right so right now uh probably nothing is going to happen yeah oh it's working but as you can see the effect is a little bit weird yeah 
we need to add at the top and at the bottom of this container we need to add a little border where basically the the effect is kind of masked and it gives it uh, a smoother effect anyway so let's go and add css because that's where the magic is all right so i'm gonna add my css in uh, the parent container yeah so if i close this you will see that this let me just close this this is the parent container that is holding all our structure the structure that is creating this um other containers and headings to be together <laughs> All right, so I'm going to go to advanced and I'm going to go to custom CSS and drop it in here. So let me just clonable, change this, okay? And let me publish and let's have a look. All right, so it seems like our effect is not working as I anticipated because there's something that I did and I need to change it. So give me a moment. All right, so out of habit, I have set all the containers to be 100 VH, okay? But... Uh, we have to do some changes here so the parent container will have zero i mean nothing here yeah as height all right then our next container is going to have a height of 21 the next container will have a height of 60 instead of 100 uh, but this depends very much on the type of text that you use the 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 how big your text is the font size the width the the type of font that you're using so you will need to see what works for your use case okay so i'm gonna drag drag it to 60 and let's just have a quick look to see how this looks and it's pretty much working as intended yeah and i think this effect is pretty cool uh, but imagine having this let me just show you what we are going to be working to achieve uh, having this uh, three corners basically um, adjusting to um, the looping of the words so basically they will be targeting the word that is looping so let's say gsap goes and hugs gsap the word gsap then looping then and it just goes like this yeah and it's dynamic and currently it just sits like this and it doesn't work but we're gonna try to see to make it work and i think this is pretty cool all right okay so let me just go back to our demo from today and let's go to the gsap code all right so if you want to change the ease the elastic elasticity of how the the words come in uh, you saw that there is a little bit of like an elastic effect to it uh, you go down so let's say if I want to go to 45 let's publish and this is going to have like a very elastic effect yeah let's see you see this is the, the feeling that I get when it does this this is the sound in my head all right so yeah that's where you change it so we can also change this here let's say duration it's going to be pretty fast yeah let's see how fast it goes this is way, way too fast and it's not so nice. So we could go to one. Maybe you can even go to 1.5 if you feel like it. Let me just go and update. Yeah. If you want the words to have more of an um, impact, let's say, where people can read it for longer, I would say. But 1.2, I think it's the sweet spot as is the 85 here, 0.85. As I said, nothing else should be changed. Oh, that's it. Yeah. And hopefully, <laughs> maybe next month, the second part of the video will be ready. But until then, I think this is pretty cool. So obviously, I'm going to leave it at this. But maybe you can come up with some interesting ways to use this. I don't know. But it's good to have it in our toolkit. If you'd like to see what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here or here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.